So the Baltimore Police Department has been exposed again for the second time for planting evidence in a citizen's car. Now, when we see this video, it's just utterly despicable. Stop this fool. What you mean step up? What are you stopping us for? Body cameras were rolling during a traffic stop last November. The video shows Baltimore police officers searching a car for drugs. As one of the suspects is arrested, he accuses the officers of harassing him for days. You crooked. You shut up. That's what you do. According to the public defender's office, the officers found nothing in the car until turning their body cameras off. When the cameras came back on, an officer is seen squatting by the driver's side of the suspect's car, apparently unaware that he's being recorded. He then stands up and steps back. About 30 seconds pass, another officer approaches the car. That officer then squats down and pulls out a bag of drugs. Frankly, when it's, it's your word against the police, it's, a, it's quite an uphill climb for a lot of people in Baltimore City. And Attorney Joshua Inslee says the footage absolves his client, Shamira Collins, who was facing drug charges after the incident. She didn't think anybody would believe her, but, uh, you know, the cameras were all rolling and uh, she ended up being vindicated. The Baltimore police said in a statement, any time an allegation of misconduct is made against an officer, they take it seriously and investigate it fully. This is the second time in recent weeks Baltimore officers have been accused of planting evidence. Body camera footage released about two weeks ago involving different Baltimore police officers allegedly shows drugs being planted in a backyard. The investigation into that incident is ongoing. The case against Inslee's client has also been dismissed, but he says this is not the end of their legal fight. You know, she lives in the city. She doesn't want any trouble between her and the police, uh, but she feels like, you know, but she feels like she, she had drugs planted on her and she definitely wants justice. Now, what I said in the first video when the other one was planning evidence is the same thing I'm going to say in this video. I am not surprised. It's not shocking to me to watch that video footage. The only thing about technology today is they're catching them doing this because they've been doing this stuff forever, planting dope on people, planting dirty guns on people and taking them to jail and getting them long sentences. You see, technology is only vindicating what we have been saying because I get emails from people in other communities. They will say, Oh, I didn't, didn't believe cops would do something like that. I'm like, shh, we know the dirty side of the police department. Maybe you don't, but this is the thing. If they do it to us, they can do it to you too. They can do it to your children because we know about the harassment. We know about the planning with evidence. We know about the police brutality. When talk, people talk about the black Panthers from the past, they were only created because of the police brutality. There was a reason they came about. The police has always been an issue for the black community. Remember, they was the original slave patrol and slave patrol morphed into police departments. They used to be called overseers on plantations. Now they call officers. Not much of a difference because they out there catching slaves to put in that plantation called the prison industrial complex. Because remember what the amendment says, you can be a slave under the guise of crime and punishment. So this video what has happened is a lot of cases have been dismissed with the previous video. The first one, they said right now about 34 cases was dismissed. It may be over a hundred eventually that's going to be dismissed with the first video. Now let's see what's going to happen with these guys. See, they need to start taking a hard line with the police officers who are doing this type of stuff. And then those who are standing around watching them do it. Because if you commit a crime, and you watch somebody commit a crime, you don't say nothing, you don't do nothing, they wanna charge you with accessory, and you had nothing to do with it. But when they do stuff like this, the other cops aren't fired. The other cops aren't reprimanded or no charges are put on them. They're fine. You see, this stuff is, is why, you know, Ice Cube came out with the song F the Police. That's why, stuff like that. Being terrorized every single day by people that you're actually paying their salaries if you're a taxpayer. This is utterly sick, it's disgusting, but I'm glad this was caught because everything that we are telling you about what happens to us, we're not lying about it. 
it's always truth to it. And of course, Fox News would never um, admit to this kind of truth. They would never say it is a problem all over the place with police departments. They'd never say that. But here, we're going to tell you the truth. And even if you are a person that don't like black people that's watching this video, because I know you're here too, they could do the same thing to you too. Always remember that. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Share the video, like the commentary, and subscribe for my news stories.